Hello friends, I am Sudhir and you are enjoying the YouTube channel English Carnival A Journey of Learning with Joy. Friends, today we are going to explore some multiple choice questions based on John Kitt's popular compositions called Ode to Nightingale and Ode on Gracian Urn. But friends, before we proceed, as usual, I request you to subscribe to this channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such academic videos on this channel called English Carnival in the coming days. Friends, John Keats was one of the greatest poets and he belongs to an English poet in the history of English literature. Friends, he published only 54 poems in three slim volumes and a few magazines actually friends although he is now seen as part of the british romantic literary tradition in his own lifetime or lifespan john kitts would not have been associated with other major romantic poets and he himself was often uneasy among them friends the themes of his works were love beauty joy nature music and the mortality of human life friends john kitts published his first collection of poems in march 1817 in which he used a bold and daring writing style here friends there are some uh, popular compositions or poems composed by John Ketz and it rightly includes Ode on Melancholy, Ode on Gracian Urn that we are going to explore some multiple choice questions based on this poem today, Ode on Autumn, then Ode to a Nightingale. We are also going to explore some multiple choice questions based on this composition, La Bila Demsen's Mercy, then Imitation of Spencer, uh, the Eve of Sad Agnes and Lamia. There are such beautiful compositions composed by John Ketz. Friends, today we are going to explore the multiple choice questions based on two popular compositions called Ode to a Nightingale and Ode on a Gracian Urn. So friends, without delay, let us move and see around 50 multiple choice questions based on these two renowned compositions by John Ketz. So let us move. We have the first question. John Keats was born in Dash. Options are A. Canada, B. England, C. America and D. Italy. Correct answer is B and it is England. Question number two we have. John Keats was born on Dash. Options are A. October 31, 1795. B. October 13, 1795. C. October 31, again 31st. 1759 and D October 13 1759 correct answer is A and it is he, he was born on 31st October 1795 question number three we have who calls John Kitts one of the inheritors of unfulfilled renown options are A Shelley B Byron C Walter Scott and D. Saudi. Correct answer is A and it is Shelley, P.B. Shelley. Question number four we have, what was the span of John Kitt's life? Options are A. 24 years, B. 25 years, C. 26 years and D. 27 years. Correct answer is C and it is 26 years. The next question we have, question number 5. Dash wrote the famous pastoral elegy on the death of John Keats. Options are A. Coleridge, B. Scott, C. Wordsworth and D. Shelley. Correct answer is D and it is P. B. Shelley. Question number 6 we have. What was the title of the elegy written by Shelley on the death of John Keats? Options are A. Lysidias, B. Adonis, C. Astrophel and D. None of these. Correct answer is A and it is Adonis. We have the next question, question number 7. Pure Poet is the title given to Dash. Options are A. Kitts, B. Shelley, C. Coleridge and D. Wordsworth. Correct answer is A and it is Kitts. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वी हैव द वर्ड हेलेनिज्म इज एसोसिएटेड विद डैश ऑप्शन आर ए शेली बी किड्स सी वर्ड्स वर्थ एंड डी कॉलरेज करेक्ट आंसर इज बी एंड इट इज किड्स क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वी हैव किड्स इज कंसिडर्ड एज द मास्टर ऑफ डैश ऑप्शन आर ए द सनेट B the ode C the elegy and D none of these correct answer is B and it is the ode question number 10 we have kids died in dash options are A France B England C Rome and D America correct answer is C and it is Rome question number 11 we have kids died on dash options are A February 23 1821 B February 28 1821 C February 23 1812 and D February 21 1822 Correct answer is A and it is February 23 1821 Question number 12 we have it was dash when kids heard the song of nightingale Options are A winter B summer C spring and D autumn Correct answer is C and it is spring. Question number 13 we have my heart aches the cause of ache is dash. Options are A despair, B joy, C inability and D injury. The correct answer is B and it is joy. Question number 14 we have my sense as though of hell mock I had dash. Options are A sunk, B enjoyed C taken and D drunk. The correct answer is D and it is drunk. Question number 15 we have kids suggests the dash of the birds song. Options are A evanescence, B ecstasy, C permanence and D wisdom. The correct answer is C and it is permanence. Question number 16 we have How many stanzas are there in the poem Ode to Nightingale? Options are A4, B7, C8 and D9. Correct answer is C and there are 8 stanzas. Question number 17 we have the eighth line of each stanza is of Ode to Nightingale is written in dash. Options are A iambic pentameter, B iambic trimeter, C iambic tetrameter and D none of these correct answer is b and it is iambic trimeter question number 18 we have of the happy lot in this line lot means dash options are a much b destiny c bird and d song the correct answer is d and it is song the next question question number 19 we have each stanza of ode to nightingale contains dash lines options are a8 b9 c10 and d11 the correct answer is c and it is 10 lines question number 20 we have when ode to nightingale was written kids was in dash options are a italy b germany c england and d america the correct answer is c and it is england question number 21 Thou wast not born for death, immortal bird. Rhetorically, this is an example of dash. Options are A. Simile, B. Pun, C. Sinecode, D. Bathos. The correct answer of this question number 21 is C and it is Sinecode. Question number 22 we have No Hungry. generations trade the down in this line hungry means what options are a satisfied b dissatisfied c angry and d curious the correct answer of this question number 22 is b and it is dissatisfied Next question question number 23 according to john kids all the serious thoughts on the earth lead to dash options are a joy b past c imagination and d despair the correct answer is d and it is despair question number 24 we have ode to nightingale was published in dash options are a 
annals of the fine art b endymion c the eve of set agnes and d lamia the correct answer is a and it is annals of the fine art Question number 25th we have John Keats belongs to dash b rate options are a classical b elizabethan c romantic and d modern the correct answer is c and he belongs to romantic age or romantic period question number 26 we have what is hellenism options are a description of society b description of culture c description of art and d description of greek art and culture the correct answer is d and hellenism means the description of greek art and culture question number 27 we have john keats wrote dash odes options are a5 b6 c7 and d8 correct answer is b and it is he wrote six odes question number 28 we have ode on a grecian urn was first published in dash options are a annals of the fine art b endymion c the eve of set agnes and d lamia the correct answer is again a and it is annals of the fine art question number 29 we have ode on a grecian urn was published in dash options are a 1818 b 1819 c 1820 and d 1817 the correct answer is c and it is 1820 Question number 30 we have the poet addresses the urn as an dash shape options are a round b landscape c attic and d horizontal correct answer is c and it is attic we have the next question question number 31 which phrase from ode on a grecian urn expresses john keats romantic philosophy a forever wilt thou love b beauty is truth truth beauty C old age shall this generation west and D none of these correct answer is B and it is beauty is truth truth beauty question number 32 how many stanzas are there in ode on a grecian urn options are A5 B6 C7 and D8 correct answer is A and it is five stanzas are there in this poem called ode on a grecian urn Question number 33 we have how many lines are there in each stanza of ode on a grecian urn options are a 10 b 11 c 12 and d 13 the correct answer is a and it is 10 lines are there in each stanza of ode on a grecian urn question number 34 we have how many images or scenes are described in ode on a grecian urn options are a1 b2 c3 and d Four. The correct answer is C, and it is there are three images or scenes described in this poem. Question number thirty-five. We have the first scene depicts Dash in Ode on a Grecian Urn. Options are A, musician and farmers are setting of rustic beauty. B, musician and farmer singers are setting of rustic beauty. C, lustful guys chasing beautiful women. And D, all of the above. Correct answer is C and it is lustful guys chasing beautiful women. Question number 36 we have the second scene depicts dash in ode on a grecian urn. Options are A a young man playing pipes under a tree. B villagers about to perform a dance. C villagers about to perform a drama and D none of these. Correct answer is A and it is a young man playing pipes under a tree question number 37 we have the meaning of the word ode in greek is dash options are a sonnet b elegy c song and d none of these correct answer is c and the meaning of the word ode in greek is song or it means song question number 38 we have the urn is a piece of ancient dash sculpture options are a greek B Roman C Egyptian and D Italian Correct answer is A and it is Greek Question number 39 we have the urn is addressed by saying dash options are A bride of quietness B foster child of silence and slow time C salvan historian and D all of the above Correct answer is D and it is all of the above 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वी हैव द फोर्थ स्टेंजा ऑफ ओड ऑन ग्रेसियन अर्न स्टार्ट्स विद डैश ऑप्शन आर ए सैक्रीफाइस ऑफ गोट बी सैक्रीफाइस ऑफ काव डी सी सैक्रीफाइस ऑफ क्रो एंड डी नन ऑफ दीज करेक्ट आंसर इज बी एंड इट इज सैक्रीफाइस ऑफ काव क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन वी हैव इन द फर्स्ट स्टेंजा ऑफ ओड ऑन ग्रेसियन अर्न डैश इज एड्रेस्ड ऑप्शन आर ए द अर्न बी the kettle c the tree and d none of these correct answer is a and it is the urn question number 42 we have the characters in ode on a grecian urn are dash options are a active b fast in time c frozen in time and d passive correct answer is c and it is frozen in time question number 43 we have what little dash by river or sea shore options are A city B town C nation and D none of these correct answer is B and it is town question number 44 we have it is said that kids was the worshipper of dash options are A almighty B nation C nature and D beauty correct answer is D of course and it is beauty question number 45 we have urn is the symbol of dash options are a nature b beauty c nation and d classic correct answer is b and again it is beauty question number 46 we have the urn is a foster child of silence and dash options are a sound b slow time c imagination and d civilization correct answer is b and it is the urn is a foster child of silence and slow time question number 47 we have the grecian urn is made up of dash options are a wood b sand c marble and d none of these correct answer is c and it is marble Question number forty-eight. We have what does speaker describe in the poem? Options are a nature, b painting on a Grecian urn, c features of a Grecian urn, and d none of these. Correct answer is b, and it is painting on a Grecian urn. We have the next question. Question number forty-nine. Imitation of Spencer is written by Dash. Options are a Shelley, b Wordsworth, c Keats, and d Coleridge. The correct answer is c, and it is Keats. Question number 50 we have the third scene depicts dash in ode on a grecian urn options are a villagers about to perform a sacrifice b villagers about to perform a dance c villagers about to perform a drama and d none of these correct answer is a and it is villagers about to perform a sacrifice question number 51 and the last one we have the three images or scenes are bordered by dash options are a wood B a decorative pattern of leaves C stones and D none of these correct answer is B and it is a decorative pattern of leaves so friends all these are the multiple choice questions based on john kitts most popular compositions called ode to nightingale and ode on Gracian urn. I hope, friends, you have liked all these multiple choice questions. If you have liked it, I request you to like it, share it among your friends, near and dear ones as well. Friends, if you are a new viewer to this channel, then I request you to subscribe to this channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon, so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such academic videos on this particular channel called English Carnival in coming days. So, friends, we'll meet soon again with a different video on different piece of literature. till then friends just take care of yourself and be happy thank you very much